Good evening, dear learners. I'm Dr. Satish Vishwambar Lakade from Walchen Institute of Technology, Sholapur. And I welcome you all for this session on personal interview. Tell me about yourself. In the previous two sessions, that is personal interview, frequently asked questions, FAQ part one, and personal interview, frequently asked questions, FAQ part two, we have discussed the frequently asked questions in personal interview. Now, in this third session, we will be discussing the question, tell me about yourself in detail because this is a very important question in any personal interview because it is about yourself. The learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will understand how to answer the question, tell me about yourself. This question is also asked in a different way, that is, introduce yourself. So, whether it is tell me about yourself or introduce yourself, it is a very important question and so we need to discuss this question in detail. Now pause this video for some time and try to answer this question. Which is the first question asked in any interview? Welcome back. And this is the answer for the question. The very first question which is asked in any interview is tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. So this is the very first question which you have to answer in any interview. So, as I said, this is the very first question and the most frequently asked question in interview. You need to be very careful while answering this particular question because it is said, first impression, last impression. So you need to make a very good impression through this first question when you are answering it. Your response to this question is, should be very effective and should really impress the interviewer. So, your response will set the tone for the rest of the interview. As I said, your answer to this particular question will set the tone for the rest of the interview. Rather, the remaining questions or the rest of the interview would be definitely guided by this first question. So, you need to consider these points. What do interviewers want to know through this particular question and what information should be included? Now, the secret to answer this particular question is like this. You need to plan, then write your script and practices and practice it. So as I said, the best way to answer this very first question is you need to plan your answer then you need to write your script and then you need to practice it so maybe once you have your script ready you can um, go for mock interviews and practice it now the first part you need to plan for this particular question now in the planning phase when in the planning phase you need to consider the following points. So you should begin with your name in full. Then you should include the city, town or village you belong to. Then you can include your qualification. After that you can focus on your strengths, maybe one or two strengths. And you can also uh, justify these strengths with real life examples. And uh, you can also use the USP, your USP that is a unique selling proposition. Uh, that is uh, a quality of yours or a skill of yours which differentiates you from other candidates, which makes you special. 
So you can also use the USB. Apart from these points, you can also talk about your hobbies. So hobbies are very important. Uh, you should definitely include your hobbies in this answer because uh, this particular answer without hobbies would be incomplete because hobbies uh, tell us that uh, hobbies are a sign of a balanced personality. And the next part is, uh, uh, so there are situations where uh, you might not have a hobby. So if not a hobby, you can also talk about your interests. So either about your hobbies or your interest, you need to talk about these things in, the, in this answer. Then, in, then, then you can include uh, your short term goals and your long term goals. And finally, you can talk about your family background. Apart from these points, if you have something very special about your career uh, or a very big achievement, you can definitely mention it here. Then the next phase is write your script. So you need to write your script. Once you plan, after the planning phase, you need to write your script. You should write your script because that will give you a clear cut idea ki what points you're going to include and how you're going to say it. So include the points mentioned in the planning phase. The next part is a practice. This is a very important phase because uh, practicing your script will definitely give you a lot of confidence. As I said, this is the very first question uh, with which you start your interview. So if you rehearse it well, if you practice it well, it can definitely make a very good impression. So do not take chances here. And for that reason, you need to practice it. Now for practicing this particular question, you can take help of your friends, your trainer, and you can do mock interviews. And uh, I would definitely recommend this. You can also video shoot your mock interview. And then afterwards you can play it and find out the areas of improvement. So this is how it should be done. So video recording your mock interview and playing it again and finding out the areas of improvement will definitely help you to perfect your script and your answer. Now the next point is you should not memorize it or else it will be stiff, rehearsed and artificial. So you should take every care to uh, while you answer this particular question to see to it that it doesn't appear the answer doesn't appear artificial or uh, stiff and rehearsed so that is something very important here then you can talk about yourself and naturally with a smile on your face so this is something very important when you answer this particular question you should be very relaxed and you should answer this question with a smile on your face While answering this question, you can also focus on your strengths. So give real time examples where you have used your strengths. It makes your answer convincing. Now there are certain do's and don'ts while answering this question. Tell me about yourself. So the first point, be true and genuine while, a while you answer this question because it is about yourself. So you need to be true and genuine when you answer this question. Then only you will make a good impression. While answering this, this question, you should be polite and confident. As far as the dress is concerned, obviously uh, you should go in formals. So you should be dressed neatly in formals. And what is very important is, as I said earlier, keep that smile on the face. That will definitely add value to the interview. Now some don'ts. It is very important in a personal interview that you don't give any false information because this will lead to a very negative effect and this will be also a question on your integrity. So make it a point not to give any false information. One more thing is certain students, they try to be too casual. So being too casual or being too relaxed is something very negative and you should try and avoid it. And one more thing is, one more thing of caution is being overconfident. Being confident is good, 
but being over confident while answering certain question is very negative and that might not give a very good impression so you should take care of these points next you should definitely avoid going for the interview in a informal outfit uh, that would definitely create a very negative and bad impression so these are the points you really need to take care of now here is a model answer for tell me about yourself the answer i am vishal prakhar jain from sholapur i am pursuing b in mechanical engineering from walchand institute of technology sholapur university my strengths are adaptability and time management my hobbies are cooking and cycling every sunday i go for a 20 km bicycle ride in the countryside which rejuvenates me a lot my short term goal is to get a job in a reputed automobile company where i can learn and use my knowledge and skills for the growth of the company my long term goal is to be the head of r and d department in an automobile company where i can produce innovative and cost effective products and solutions to make human life better there are four members in my family my father is a university professor and my mother is a school teacher my younger sister is pursuing mba and i have learned the value of integrity from my parents so this was one model answer of course you can definitely make changes as per your requirement and your personality so thank you so much this was the reference for my work and i wish you all a very happy learning session thank you